Welcome our next speakers, Vahan and Vladimir from ERP Scan. Um, there we'll be speaking about SAP bugs, so uh, basically the SAP NetWeaver again. So let us welcome them. Hi everyone. Th Hi everyone. Thank you. Um, today, um, Vladimir and I will talk about SAP security, about uh, security uh, in SAP NetWeaver. Uh, for a few slides about us, uh, I'm senior security researcher at uh, Erpiscan company, and um, I like I'm like bug hunter, bug bounty, uh, malware researching. And my name is Vladimir. I'm security researcher at Erpiscan company. I am interested in business application security, in reverse engineering, and encryption. Uh, we are Star Wars fans, so I think uh, you'll enjoy the presentation. Um, here is our agenda. Um, the agenda contains of uh, five main points. Um, in, f in the first point, uh, we'll talk about um, uh, SAP, uh, about newest uh, CVE in SAP network platform. Um, uh, after that, we'll review uh, how kind of how what kind of application are present in SAP Azure application server Java, and how you can use uh, these applications. And uh, after that, we will review uh, Redwood component, and we will show uh, vulnerability uh, in Redwood. Uh, and after that, we will uh, review uh, SAP CRM component, and we will show how you can escalate Prilogy in SAP and how you can get remote command execution uh, via log injection in SAP NetWeaver. And uh, in the f fifth slide, we will show how you can protect and what kind of SAP security nodes you need to install in your uh, SAP servers to protect. Uh, to, uh, to protect. So, um, uh, I think uh, everyone know about <laughs> SAP company. He has uh, a lot of applications uh, for banking, for gas and oil, for uh, uh, manufacturing industry. And uh, uh, SAP, uh, every, every month, releasing SAP security nodes. For example, uh, last three years, uh, the SAP company released uh, around three, th 300 um, security nodes each year. And um, last year, in 2017, uh, we counted that uh, SAP patched around uh, three, uh, 13 um, critical, uh, he, he released 13 uh, SAP nodes to protect critical vulnerabilities. And here's uh, our top four uh, critical uh, vulnerability which we found. Uh, about first vulnerability we talked in last Troopers, in Troopers uh, 17, and uh, we showed uh, how SAP administrators can get remote command execution in SAP company, um, in, in, in company cu customers via uh, SAP GUI. Uh, last uh, next to vulnerability was present in SAP NetWeaver application server Java, and uh, use, uh, using these two vulnerabilities, uh, an attackers, for example, can get uh, full access to SAP NetWeaver platform. And uh, for and la uh, fourth uh, vulnerability was present in SAP HANA platform in SAP Trax component. And um, uh, some of you may remember that last year, we t when, when we talk, talked uh, how uh, you can get admin privileges in SAP uh, server, we, we said that, um, so we sent uh, some unknown directory traversal to SAP company, but uh, we don't have any patch yet. Uh, but now uh, the SAP released uh, a few security nodes and uh, we can talk about this vulnerability. Uh, uh, here is a uh, SAP NetWeaver platform uh, 
uh, platform structure. He contains uh, of two main parts, is uh, SAP ABAP stack and SAP Java stack. And uh, we today will will review just only uh, SAP Java stack. So uh, the SAP uh, Java stack uh, has a lot of applications which are written in uh, Java language. And uh, here is a screenshot of our test SAP server. You can see that in this server we have around 1,400 uh, Java applications. All Java applications are located in SAP dot com folder in file system and uh, to understand how you can how you can call how you can use these applications via browser uh, let's review uh, one uh, uh, vulnerability which we found in 2016 uh, this vulnerability of information disclosure and um, in video chat component uh, so you can draw easy parallel between uh, web URL and uh, physical path when uh, this application is located. And uh, as every Java application, SAP, SAP application 2 have uh, some web dpro or web, uh, web.xml files which describing the application names. For example, here you can see that this uh, VD chat uh, component has two um, application name, a chat and messages. So, and if you will open this URL in your browser, you can get uh, SAP uh, users list with nicknames uh, without any credentials. So, the Redwood component is uh, Java application 2, and uh, to install Redwood component in your SAP server, you has you, you, you have two ways. First, you can download the Redwood component from SAP launch, uh, Launchpad and deploy it in your SAP server. Or, uh, when you're installing the SAP server, you can check the central process scheduling checkbox, and after that, in your SAP server, automatically will deploy uh, will, will, will deploy uh, the Redwood component. So the Redwood component, uh, you can you can get uh, you can find a Redwood component in apps folder uh, near sap.com folder and uh, Redwood Redwood component has a scheduler servlet and if you will open a scheduler servlet in your browser you can see this uh, this portal. Uh, so, when we opened this portal, we we thought that uh, hmm, this some kind of very interesting uh, application because previous we only researched all application in sap.com folder, um, and we started research it. Uh, we 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 opened the. <laughs> we opened the HTML code in the uh, main page and we saw some metadata, some links, some scripts, but uh, we, uh, but first script tag is uh, look like very uh, interesting because he has UI util JavaScript JS uh, uh, servlet who gets uh, JavaScript old and utils parameter. Uh, the, the parameter uh, you know, the util the JS file we found in SAP server, and also we found JavaScript and old folders. So what we have, we have some fi uh, physical uh, file in into server, uh, and we have URL in the. Uh, we have URL uh, which can use to read the util.js file. So, and after that, uh, we took the scheduler uh, uh, servlet and put uh, dot uh, dot slash uh, many times 
And uh, finally, we can read uh, win any file from the server. So <laughs> uh, you can see that uh, directory traversal is uh, very to rep reproducing vulnerability. Just need to uh, type dot dot slash. OK. And immediately, we reported this uh, vulnerability to SAP. It was February of 2016. And um, so uh, cool. The, uh, directory traversal vulnerability is cool, but how you can uh, how you can get another sentence, uh, another critical information, uh, critical data from the SAP server? You need to uh, read and decrypt uh, sextor dot properties and sextor. Uh, so you need to decrypt sextor properties uh, file and. Uh, after decryption, you can see the administrator uh, passwords uh, from the SAP server. So, but before, uh, let's see the demo of uh, directory traversal exploitation. Here's a SAP Java server, um, and you can see that we don't have any uh, privileges on the server. Uh, we open the scheduler servlet. Uh, after that, we call the UI util JavaScript um, servlet via browser. And you can see that we can, uh, we can uh, open any, read any folder, and we can get f file lists. Uh, uh, after that, we try to read uh, uh, secure storage of SAP server. Uh, the, our uh, SAP has uh, DM0 SID. So uh, here is uh, our uh, here is a secure. Uh, storage, and we can read the key file and properties file. Uh, about uh, six door uh, decryption algorithm, we'll talk uh, Vladimir. If you remember uh, the stuff, Star Wars, uh, the Death Star was really great, but there was one weakness in the center, and using it, Luke Skywalker completely destroyed it. So, sex store in SAP system is just the same thing. So, we have sex store.properties file containing information about administrator, like, like password, and our credentials, uh, database connection string, and something, uh, another sensitive data. Uh, we have also sextor.key file containing encryption key for sextor.properties. And so if an attacker uh, can gain access to, to this file, he or she can completely uh, can gain administrative privileges uh, to SAP system and to SAP database. So we analyzed encryption algorithm and we wrote our tool, sextor decryptor. Uh, uh, this script gets sextor.key file. Uh, we also found a hard-coded key in Java source code. Uh, so we need to show this value, this value with sextor.key, and this way you can get uh, the real key phrase. This key phrase is used uh, as a key for sextor.properties. The algorithm is triple S in CBC mode, and this way you can get administrative password. Uh, but in fact, the real 
algorithm name is this one. I don't want to pronounce it. So the main idea is that not uh, the plain uh, k, uh, k phrase value is used, but it's hash value. So let's have a little demo. Yeah. So we have a sexor.dec file. Uh, we have key file and our properties file. Yeah. So we start our script with help command. Uh, you can see we can uh, decrypt sexor files and additionally we can decrypt uh, information from J2EE config uh, table in JavaStack. So we just started and get uh, credential from SAP administrator, uh, connection string to SAP database, and its username and password in clear text. Yeah. Um, so you can uh, find, we decided to, uh, to share our tool, so you can find it in, at our uh, GitHub. Uh, please enjoy it. <coughs> so, yeah, now we have credentials of SAP administrator. Uh, we can return to this window and try to log in. So we input our new credentials, and this, we, uh, this window appears. Uh, we don't have belt listens, so we just put something blah, 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 and try to activate free listens, and oops, we got it. So, and we became SAP administrator. Uh, very easy way. So let's re refresh our knowledge about our findings. We have a non-directory traversal in scheduler. Uh, we have decryption tool to get administrator password from sex store. And I think it's time uh, to look closer at CRM. So yeah, the second episode. Uh, so CRM, customer relationship management, what is it? In general, it's an approach to manage a company's interaction uh, with current and potential users. Uh, so CRM accumulates information about customers like emails, telephones, social media, uh, provide analyzing of this data uh, to determine exactly uh, target audience. So we can share this data to other customers, so it's kind of collaboration. Uh, that's how CRM uh, looks like. Uh, CRM administrator console. So on the left hand you can see uh, some submenus like statistics uh, and other settings. And the most interesting is uh, login. So let's go there. You can see a lot of parameters like destination, path, location. So we try to uh, change destination parameter. Uh, we used the same technique dot dot slash, but it didn't work. Uh, so we try to put the absolute path on file system uh, and suddenly there was no uh, errors, mistakes, exceptions. Uh, it seems that CRM service just uh, saved new configuration. Uh, we also change not just a folder of log files but its extension. So let's go and check if the new uh, log file appears and here you can see uh, we change log file uh, name on shell.gsp and change the folder and uh, it appears a file system. And it's really cool because uh, we, we can change folder, we can change extension and I'll describe why this is so cool. Imagine SAP system. Uh, to simplify our model, uh, we just choose JavaStack. So there are a lot of applications in SAP system. There are a lot of users calling these applications. And while application work, uh, <coughs> it exchange information with database. And all years, exceptions, and mistakes are writing in log files, like trace, like log. Uh, so that's how it works before. Before. And uh, after attack, uh, we have the same SAP system with same applications, uh, exchanging information with database, the same users calling these applications. But now uh, we change uh, log file location 
on applications directory, uh, and we change extension of the uh, log files. So when SAP system uh, find a .gsp file in application folder, it parses it as a valid GSP application. So it means that uh, you can get access to this file, and all code uh, uh, will be parsed as GSP. And as you remember, we can still write any exceptions and errors in this log file. And we can call it remotely. And if we can write any code in this log file, uh, we can execute any command. So let's have a look how we can uh, change uh, log file directory. First 30 seconds is so boring, so we just, yeah. So we go to scheduler, we log in with our new credentials, administrator. It works so fast, so we need to wait a little bit. Yeah, so now we are at SAP scheduler, so we are authorized in SAP system. We can go to uh, B2B uh, in CRM service. We leave this page. So we go to admin console. So login submenu on the left hand. Yes. And now we can change the destination. If you can see the default uh, log file name is trace uh, 00.trc. So now we change on the other one. Test log without any extension. And now, uh, if we put special URL uh, in the browser, we can, for example, download this file without any extension. So if uh, the extension of this file will be .gsp, SAP system will parse this file as valid application. And Finkwagen will tell you about this So, um, before the second directory traversal exploitation, we have uh, a log file, which extension are log, uh, XML, or TRC, and we couldn't read this file via browser, but after the uh, second directory traversal exploitation, we can uh, read, uh, we can write, sorry, we can write uh, the log file in any folder on the system, so we found default uh, uh, servlet where we wrote the log file and we rename log file to shell.gsp and uh, to get remote command execution in SAP we need to uh, uh, we need to write the simple uh, uh, Java shell code in uh, log file in shell.gsp and as you can see that this shell code gets only a CMD parameter and after that he will execute the value of CMD parameter. So, uh, to write uh, this uh, GSP code in the log file, we need to send some bad request to SAP server because after, after, the, uh, after uh, after then that SAP server will receive some bad request, he tried to parse the parameter and uh, he of course uh, couldn't uh, do it and he will write in log file a uh, message that uh, I'm sorry dear administrator, I couldn't parse blah 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 parameter and instead of blah 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 uh, we, we can write uh, 
uh, we can write any uh, code. Uh, uh, here we write uh, GSP shell code. Uh, here is a uh, shell code in log file, and uh, here is what it, what it looks like if you take a closer look. So, and after that, if you will call uh, shell.gsp uh, via browser with ipconfig, you can see the result of command execution. The, uh, the, the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, to send bad request to a CP server, uh, we, we wrote uh, the Python code. Um, we need to write also, uh, we need to input uh, administrator uh, login and password. And after that, uh, the Python code will send bad request and, uh, uh, and we will uh, get uh, a shell code and a shell on, on a CP server. So here is the log, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. And here is a result of uh, IP config command. So um, let's make a little conclusion. And uh, um, when we when we found uh, and when the SAP released the security nodes of um, first directory traversal, the directory tra traversal in Redwood, we scanned the internet to uh, understand how many servers uh, with Redwood component are present in the wild. And we found around 500 public SAP server, uh, which uh, uh, which have uh, uh, in which are available uh, Redwood component, and uh, to protect uh, these two vulnerability, you need to first install and upgrade your CRM component. And you need to set special rule uh, in your firewall to limit uh, to limitate uh, the CRM uh, CRM uh, connection. To uh, you need to uh, upgrade the Redwood component, and um, after that you need to upgrade the. Uh, you need to install the second uh, SAP node and from the uh, nis.gov uh, wow yeah <laughs> and uh, from the uh, uh, nis.gov uh, uh, website we saw that this uh, directory traversal uh, exploited it in, in the wild we don't have any information just just it and uh, so um, that's it. Thank you. If you have any questions.